Hey guys, welcome back to the backlog. We're here for a very interesting game. So, one second, let me fix this. Yeah. Uh, we're playing a very strange game. I'm gonna tell you what, I mean, you might even call it bizarre. But, <laughs> oh, anyway, today we're gonna be playing JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, the seventh stand user. Now, what is this? Why are we playing JoJo? Are you a JoJo fan? Is this a JoJo joke? I think all of the answers is yes. But what we're playing is not an official JoJo game. This is a JoJo fan game. It's very interesting because there's not many JoJo fan games. And this is pretty much one of the most famous ones. And this game is old. This fan game is incredibly old. It came out like... <laughs> it came out like around the time of RPG Maker 2000. Because it was built on that. It's built off RPG Maker 2000. Now, if you don't know anything about the RPG Maker uh, software, it just lets you build, like, video games using it. 2000 came out in 2000. The newest one is RPG Maker MV, which came out, like, 2020 or something? Or even earlier before? Just to show you how much time is in between, you may think, why are you playing this? This is... If it's that old, wouldn't it be horrible? Well, uh, let me tell you. Like I said, this is one of the best JoJo fan games I think I've ever seen. It's kind of one of the best JoJo games I've ever seen, also. So, you're gonna come with me along to see our adventure. But yeah, I'm playing a JoJo fan game before you even play a JoJo game. I think that should tell you something, that I went out of my way to play this first. Now, if you're a JoJo fan, I highly recommend playing this yourself. Don't watch a stupid idiot like me play it. Play this yourself. But if you're not a JoJo fan, maybe you've already played the game, or you just cannot be fucked to play this game on your own and you want to see me play it, then come along. We're here for a very weird journey. I'm a pretty big JoJo fan. I pretty much became a JoJo fan around the time of, like, uh, probably around Battle Tendencies anime release. And yeah, that's not that long ago, but still, I've been a JoJo fan for at least a, a large part of my life. I pretty much know, I've seen all the animes, uh, I've read uh, all of Jojolian. Uh, the only part I haven't read yet is Steel Ball Run, and I kind of already know what happens. So, I've seen almost all of Jojo. There's going to be a ton of spoilers for a ton of stuff, but I'm not even going to say anything about it. Let's just get into this, I need to stop squawking and we need to start going, so... This game uses the fucking arrow keys, so... Give me a sec. Also, all the music's in MIDI, so that's why it sounds like butt rock, but I actually really like it. Anyway, new game. It's our man. It's him himself. It's Robert E.O. Speedwagon. I'm gonna try and be British. Who's this guy? I can't do it right. Jojo! Don't go there, Jojo! Who's this guy? That's what you were thinking, right? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the Interfering Speedwagon. Sorry for the sudden entrance, but would you like me to explain this game's features? Nah. By the way, it looks like it's your first time playing, but... I, anytime I try and do uh, British, I do Cockney. Yeah, by the time... When, when Speedwagon is alive, I don't think there was much con I mean, yeah, there was a connection to Australia, but still. <laughs> what difficulty level would you prefer? Let's see, so we can either choose... What's the difference? Let's ask. In easy mode, you'll receive a bonus of 1,000 experience points, 10,000 G, and extra recovery items. However, each member will lose 10 friendship points. Damn, it's like where I'm in Digimon again. <laughs> British. Normal mode is the diff is the default difficulty. The the way the game was designed to be played. In hard mode, each member will lose ten friendship points. The friendship will start the the friendship will start with lower stats. The the protagonist will start with lower stats, and enemies will have a unique attack patterns. Lower stats, stronger enemies, and lower friendship l friendship levels make for a severe playthrough that will test your skills to the fullest. All right, so it sounds like I should probably do. Which reminds me, would you like to watch the prologue? You know, I haven't seen it yet. I've only ever gotten to a little bit and uh, skipped a stand creation. We'll get into that. Let's just watch the prologue. I haven't seen it before. 
Hey, over here! We finally hit the jackpot! What are you waiting for? Open it! I told you, there's bound to be good stuff here, considering this is a luxury liner that went down a hundred years ago. Who cares? Just hurry up and open it. Jeez, calm down, I get it. Huh? That's funny. It's locked from the inside. We'll force it open then. Hey you, grab a blowtorch. Alright, time to bust this thing open. Huh? There's writing on the side. D. I. O. Dio? It must be the company that made the chest. Now open it up already. Got it, finally! This is Recon, B Recon Team B-12, coming in from what appears to be an abandoned ship. We haven't found corpses, or any other trace of the crew. All we found is an empty container that was left on the deck. Seems to have been forced open with an acetyl... What? Acetyl torch? No clue as to the whereabouts of the former contents, but we're requesting a search team to look for their lost crew members to be dispatched ASAP. Jeez. Talk about the bazaar. Hey, what do you make of all this? This chest is made of reinforced steel, so whatever was in here had to be important. Heh, <laughs> maybe someone or something was lurking inside. When they opened it... He devoured them whole. And maybe it's still on this ship. Or whatever. Hmm? Where'd you disappear to? Come on, it's getting dark out. Papa, Papa, over here, Papa. Ollie! <laughs> Papa! <laughs> I'm so glad you could come, Papa. With my only daughter in a bind? Why, well, I'd have to I'd have to cross the entire earth in 24 hours if I had to. <laughs> How's Mama? She threw a fit. I told her that it was top secret Joe Star Company business. <laughs> Papa. Mm. <laughs> hey, knock it off, Holly. Tawana, I haven't gotten a chance to cuddle with you in ages. <sighs> Good grief. Do you realize what that sounds like coming from a 45-year-old woman? Oh, now you've done it. You'll have to tick I'll have to tickle you for that. Coochie coochie coo. Hey, hey, quit it! Tickle tickle. No! Nigga <laughs> Hey, what are you looking at? Help me with your luggage. Let me help you with your luggage. <laughs> now then, Holly. About Jotaro. Are you are you sure he mentioned a evil spirit? Oh, I can't believe it. My Jotaro. It's all true. No one else in the room could see it. But I could. Another arm besides his own head. And that gun. No one else could see it but you? Yeah. Have you been experiencing anything similarly unusual? No, nothing like that. But listen. He says he won't leave his cell until he figures out the cause of all this. Papa, what am I going to do? Now, now, my darling. Now that Joseph Joestar is here to save the day, there's no cause for alarm. Now then, I'd like to meet face to face with... I'd like to meet with our Jotaro face to face. Forgot the snap. I... I can't believe it. S somehow... There's more things in that cell than there were before. He He's possessed by something terrible. Whatever it is, it's violent. If anyone finds out about this, I'll be fired with in a heartbeat. Don't worry, I can handle my grandson. Grandson. Chotaro, it's Grandpa. Grandpa's here to help you now. Please come home. Get out. You're coming with me. Piss off. I didn't ask you to come here. You want to help me? What makes you can what makes you think you can do that? Sorry you had to come all the way from New York, but I'm not leaving. Jotaro, Jotaro brandishes the pinky finger of 
Joseph's prosthetic hand. My, my finger. When did he take that off? See that? Do you finally get it? This is my evil spirit. Don't come any closer, unless you want to cut sh short what little time you have left. Unbelievable. He actually pulled one over on me. I know all the true nature of these. I, kn I know all about the true nature of that evil spirit of yours, Jotaro. I knew it before I even came here. I'd like to clear up this little mystery for him right now, but I won't. I won't. It won't do to simply explain it. He has to feel it with his own body. It's the only way to protect him from the dangers yet to come. Avdol, it's your turn. Allow me to introduce you to Avdol, my good friend from Egypt. Avdol, get my grandson out of this cell. Give up. He looks tough, but just saying he'll get me out of here isn't gonna isn't gonna make it happen. Besides, do you really think I'd let a bug ugly guy like that boot me out of here? Nothing you can do is gonna change my mind. All you're doing is getting on my nerves. Mr. Joestar, I may have to be a little rough with him. When I'm through, he may be in so much pain he'll be begging us to let him out. That's not a problem. Papa, what's going on here? H hey, keep it down! Quiet! <laughs> Avdol wants to fight. Is, is that... Yes! Avdol has an evil spirit just like yours. This spirit that obeys Avdol's will is called... Magician's Reddo! Am I now forced to fight? Alright then. Uh... Fight! Jotaro, use... What? Cardiac Massage? Revives an ally. Stone Thrust. Stone Thrust? Yes. <laughs> Stone Toss. Or yell in booming voice to remove confusion. Uh, I think I'll just attack. Do you see that M next to Avdol's name? That represents your opponent's distance from you. S means the opponent is close. L means that they're far away. And M means that somewhere they're somewhere in between. Don't forget it. You guys like my Joseph voice? I'm trying to copy the dub voice, but it's just not working all that well. <laughs> At a distance, physical attacks should be more effective, be a more effective means of damaging him. Jotaro attacked. He took one damage. Holy shit. I gotta use stone throw. Ugh, it's hot. Are these... flames? My arm. It's burning. Is this all because of that evil spirit? Now, Jotaro, summon your spirit as well. I can't really do Avdol all that well. <laughs> A figure resembling an ancient Roman centurion appeared behind Jotaro. Ora! Ugh. I didn't think you'd be able to manifest it so clearly. Cause he, he's like, he has an Egyptian accent and I can't really copy that all that well. However, you, you failed to grasp even the very basics of stand combat. Stand combat? Jotaro, what you thought was an evil spirit is actually a powerful vision created from your own life force. Since it appears beside you, we call it a stand. This stand draws from your spirit energy. So if you consume all of it, it won't be able to manifest. Stands also have different attributes, such as your range. Your stand can only manifest very close to your body, so it's a close range stand. Abdul's stand, on the other hand, fights at a range, so he can unleash an all-out attack while he keeps his distance. Unfortunately, your close range stand is <laughs> will be unable to attack at full power. If you don't want to be limited to attacks that don't have any range attributes, then use the guard command strategically and wait for the enemy to reveal their weak point. Some enemies will <laughs> maintain their distance to prevent you from closing in on them, so keep on your toes. Now then, the fight is on! I threw a rock at Abdul. How did I have a rock? <laughs> rock, 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 rock. Okay, so, now I gained Aura Rush. Alright, Aura, Aura! Observes the party's moves. I mean, this hand, this fight was pretty equally fought, at least as, if I remember the fight correctly. Just seems like Abdal just <laughs> is just getting beat up on right now. Oh no, fireball! <laughs> Gonna be like that one time somebody lit themselves on fire to fight somebody. Jotaro's on fire! Damn, I'm taking a lot of enemy. 
Lot of enemy? Yes. Okay, do I have any items I could help? No. Cardiac massage. That would remove... All I can do is just go all out and try and beat him up. I'm dying of fire and the game won't let me live. Put out the flame somehow. Avdol was sent flying. He crashes into the wall. Uh... Wait, what range is he at now? He's medium range, so it's a lot harder for... Uh... Star Platinum to actually hit. Take this! Abdul bound the enemy. Don't screw with me. I didn't want to leave because I didn't want to hurt people. I'm relieved to see someone else is afflicted with the same thing as me. But if you keep going, you're gonna die. Jotaro's stand. Pride opened the bars of the cell. Ah! You know what? Forget it! The, the bars opened on their own! Hey, where are you going? Look at me! Mr. Joestar, as you can see, I have gotten him out of his cell. <laughs> Was that your plan all along? Not quite. I did truly intend to send you to the hospital, but your strength far exceeds my expectations. I literally lit you on fire and you're just fine. <laughs> and what if I hadn't pulled these bars apart? What then? My ability... Rather, my stand is Magician's Red. If it came to it, my flames could easily melt them. You and Avdol have the same kind of power, Jotaro. But we can talk more about that once we leave. This isn't a place to loiter. Yay, Jotaro finally came out. I don't remember what Holly sounds like. Holly sounds like a girl. <laughs> Even though she's kind of important, I just forget what she sounds like. Shut up, you're a pain in my ass. Got it, honey. He is a very abusive man. Hey, the nerve of you calling your own mother a pain in the ass. Who taught you to speak like that? And you, don't look too happy about it. Fine. Hey, Gramps. Listen, or GG. <laughs> Listen up. Hmm? There's still something that's bugging me. How do you know so much about my evil spur? Rather, how do, how do you know so much about my stand? Well, that's what I came from New York to talk to you about. Well, right, we'll get to that in no time. There's something else I need to talk to you about first. Something linked to the entire Joestar family. Take a look at these pictures. Joseph took out some pictures of the abandoned cruiser and a chest inscribed with the word Dio. What am I supposed to be looking at? Four years ago, this metal chest was pulled up from the waters west of Africa. Afterwards, it, I took it into my own hands. In reality, it's not a chest, but a casket. It dates back about 100 years. Apparently, this coffin was found in the wreckage of the ship that, jo that Jonathan Joestar, your great-great-grandfather, died on. Hmm? When it was finally discovered, it was empty. Only I know what was contained. The one Avdol and I have been searching for. You, when you say, the one, do you mean... Yes, I am searching for a person who was also aboard that ship 100 years ago. A monster who has finally risen from his 100-year slumber. His name is Dio, mortal enemy to the Joestar line. Somehow they went inside of each other at the end of that cutscene. Hey, Jojo, don't pout like this has nothing to do with you. Avdol, right? I don't know who you are, but you've got the balls to say that to me. And Gramps, do you expect me to believe this 100-year-old guy just crawled out of the ocean? You really think I'm just going to nod my head and go, Oh, makes sense, after hearing that load of bull. <laughs> or, <laughs> but when you think about it, our evil spirits are equally unbelievable, aren't they? Hmm. That's fine by me. I'll make you believe me in due time. Just let me tell you my reasons for going after Dio. And I know <laughs> and why I know all about him in the first place. Avdol took out a Polaroid camera. I'll show you. The truth is, Jotaro, one year ago, I discovered that I also have the same kind of evil spirit as you. A stand! Is that true, Papa? What did you say, Gramps? Look closely. This is my stand! Joseph smashed the camera and a Polaroid photo came flying out. Did you see the thorns that sprung through my hand, through my arm, 
That's my stand. Its ability is spirit photography. I can make faraway things appear on film. Of course, I have to bust up a $300 camera every time I use it. What's going on over here, sirs? Nothing that conserves you. Be gone. Pay attention, Jotaro. The image that this photo shows will decide your fate. What? Jotaro, Holly, have you ever noticed... Have you, have you ever taken a good look at the backs of our necks? What do you mean? I'm sure you've never examined it carefully. But on the very base of my neck, there's a star-shaped birthmark that only existed at this point and had to be re retroactively inserted into the other parts. Huh. Holly and Jotaro both noticed the same birthmark on the, on the back of their necks. Why do you mention it? I heard from my mother that my late father also had this birthmark. George was a weird guy, and he was in a manga that isn't canon, so fuck me. My dad sucked. And yours did too, because he's not even fucking here. <laughs> I imagine that all of those Joestar bloodline must have it. So what exactly is on that photo? This birthmark, which none of us have paid any mind to until now, will decide our fate. Papa, just get to the point. Show us what's on that photo. It's that Dio. It's him that always appears in my photos, and on his neck is that same birthmark. That's because below the neck, Dio Brando's body belongs to my grandfather, Jonathan Joestar. If not for Grandma Arena, I would have never known that it occurred in that ship that was lost in the Atlantic over a century ago. That bastard Dio stole my grandfather's body. That's all that she told me. I'll bet that now, somewhere in the world, he's using that body to carry out some evil scheme. Four years since he was revived. Just this year, we discovered both my psychic abilities and your spirit. It can't be a coincidence. Dio must be the cause. Our powers are what most people might consider as ESP or psychokinesis. I was born with my stand, but yours seems to have something to do with Dio and that stolen body of his. Like an invisible link between you and your ancestor, Jonathan. It is very likely that Dio's awakening has, t has it in turn, awakened your own dominant abilities, or dormant abilities. Abdal, can you determine his location from this photo? I'm afraid I can't do that. It's far too dark for me to see it clearly. Sorry, Holly, but it looks like we're going to have to park ourselves at your place in Japan for a while. Mm. I felt it again. Once again, I sense that someone is watching me. Jonathan's descendants, no doubt. This body seems to be sending out a single a signal somehow. It sends out a single. So be it. I suppose this is my destiny. Destiny that must be dealt with. Destiny that must be eliminated. Destiny that I have already taken measures to nip in the bud. I can't do scary British. I'm not good at that. It seems that a new destiny is beginning. That would be your destiny, you nameless one, apostle of fate. You are about to walk a path full of pain and suffering. However, it is necessary that you continue to fight. Please accept this small offering, your very own stand. I hope you use it well. Welcome to my humble shop. I am Mohammed Avdal, a fortune teller. I detect the capability to wield a stand within you. If you answer a few questions for me, I may be able to determine your stand's power. Sometimes this gets a little long, but the more questions you answer, the more potent your abilities will be. First off, picture yourself in everyday surroundings. Where are you? Where are you standing? St think not about small details, but just where your position is in relation to others. So yeah, welcome to a personality test. You'll understand. I think they already kind of talked about it, but we'll go through this real quick, so. Me, myself, and I, where do I picture myself in everyday occurrences? Mingling with a group, right off in the center, off in my own place. I mean, I'm never... Sometimes in the center of existence, but I don't see myself in that every day. It's kind of either mingling with a group or off in my own place, but usually I'm more kind of off in my own place. So I'm going to go with that. I tried to use WASD for a second. Anyway, off in my own place. I see. This place is about your... This next one is about your worldview. Do you think it's best to give people the benefit of the doubt, or is your trust something to be earned? 
I trust them from the outset. I distrust them. Depends on circumstance. I'm more of a distrusting person, but I will trust some people. So I guess it's more of a depends on circumstance kind of thing. When you're troubled, do you like to talk it out with others? I don't know. Sure, I like to vent, but I think it's... As so many people vent to me, I'd rather not vent to others. I'd rather keep a little bit little bit behind my own back. I'd say I'm more of a, a less than talking out with others. Do you like being the only person in the room? Uh, it depends. Depends on the situation. I would check that too. But I'd rather be... Like, I'm fine with one person. One person, one to three people is fine by me, so... I don't like being lonely all the time, so... I don't know. Do you like being the only person in the room? I'd say... No. Are you a quiet person? I think that's really up to interpretation. Like... I'm kind of bombastic on YouTube, but I tend to be a lot more of a quiet person in my own life. I tend to not talk a lot. I tend to listen more than talk, so... I say I'm mostly a quiet person, even if it seems like I'm very bombastic. Just remember, all the bombastic thoughts that I'm spewing out now, that's because those all stay in my head when I'm with people. So, I'd say I'm more of a quiet person. Do you think there's no one that truly understands you? Now, that's a pretty... A pretty... Like, uh... What do you call it? A pretentious question. Is there anybody that truly understands you? I don't know. Sometimes it feels like that. Sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of... Depending on situation, it's kind of a variable thing. I guess, in a way, I don't want people to truly understand me. I kind of want to be more of a man of mystery than a man of known. I don't know. It's hard to figure out, but I guess I would say... I don't... Some things I just don't show to people. Some some emotions I just don't give out all that easily, so... It might be pretentious, but it's truthful. I don't know. Are you fussy about how others view you? Now, that's the most definite no. I may sometimes care about what others think of me during, like, if I need to look good or something, but most of the time, if they, like, don't like my personality, I'm going to be like, I don't give a shit. You may not like me, and that's completely fine. We don't need to, like you know, take it up with me. I'd rather not care about what other people's view, and I'd rather not care about what other people's think of uh, what I care about other people. So, I'd say, no, not too often. Do you dislike inviting friends over? No, I don't dislike it. I like to have friends. When something is going on, do you immediately perk up and want to join the fun? It really depends on what that thing is. Like, am I going to a party? Because I'm not a very big party person. I'm more of like, I need, like, a couple of people hang out with, then force them away. Like, could you please go away after we're done? <laughs> like, I need my time to myself. So, like, if something, like, exciting's going on, like, I guess it, it depends. It depends on my situation. Like, how I'm feeling and stuff. Like, if I just feel like I just don't want to go out right now, I just, I don't know. I think I'm more of... It's less, less of, like, an immediate perking up, and it's going to take me a little bit to warm up. So I'd say no. Do you have a hard time saying no? No. <laughs> I can, I can, even if I'm more of an introvert, I can definitely be outward with my emotion, outward with my disagreeing with something. Do you have a hard time saying no? No. Are you interested, uninterested in gambling? <laughs> I'm fine with gambling. The only kind of gambling I do is Digimon, and then I just feel like, I just don't want to deal with this right now. I don't think I'm very interested in gambling. Sorry I hurt the mic. Are you uninterested in gambling? Yes. Hmm. I think I've got it. Your stand is... Howling Wolf. Range, average, class, power type. Okay. Interesting. I get a dog for a stand? Alright, then. And this can be very different. If you answer these questions differently, you're going to get something different. I don't know how accurate this is, but... You know, having a dog is not bad. I wish I could have a person, but sometimes you don't need that shit. A beast-like stand that howls to create fa powerful, far-reaching shockwaves, in addition to its attacking with its fangs and claws. Well-balanced in all areas, its power is backed up by Im impressive speed, giving it the potential to wreak instant devastation. 
As for your personality type, on the surface you're cool-headed, indifferent, and alert. However, deep down you're filled with curiosity and love spending time with family and friends more than anything else. I... <laughs> just a lot of I with that sentence? I guess that's... I don't know how correct that is. Though you're wary of new people and situations, you're thick-skinned and composed, never one to sweat the small stuff. You feel that protecting your family is your duty in life. I guess. I guess I would agree. Oh, and before I forget, would you mind telling me your name? So, it's pretty much OC land. You play as you, so I'm gonna be as accurate as possible. I guess we'll just use my actual name. Alright. I could use Frozen, but that's not my name. Oh, no. My name is Jason. Do you have a nickname? Hmm. Oh, I said no. Well, I don't really have a nickname. My nickname is Frozen Breeze. Also, that says boy. So I guess I pretty much answered everything correctly. So space is a yes as well, so beware. I pretty much picked everything I would pick, so it's fine. Average, distinct, short, and chubby. So average is the guy on the left, distinct is the guy on the right, short is the short guy, and the chubby is the chubby guy. I don't know. I guess I'm partially distinct. Like, I think you could pick me out of a lot of people in the crowd, I guess. Just because my hair and the way I look is weird. So I'd say I'm distinctive. I s and now I look like <laughs> Josuke. Alright. I see. This is how you look. Here's a close-up. Although it's just my interpretation. Do you have a catchphrase? If so, please tell me what it is. Uh... I don't know. Do I have a catchphrase? I just have, hey guys. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't really have a catchphrase is the problem. Hmm. What kind of catchphrase do I have? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it some catchphrase? I'm just like, eh. <sighs> or, ooh boy. <laughs> that is something I say. Ooh boy. Is there a space? How do I... Oh, the space is over here. I do say, like, who... My neck hurts, or my back hurts, but that's not enough. I do say, like, oh boy. Uh... Is there... Oh, there is Nikon. I just want a period. There we go. Sure. Good enough. How's this sound? Hoo boy. Hoo boy. I'm Jason, the seventh stand user. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Well, I wanted to go back and change my nickname if I could give myself one, but... Okay. We're sticking with my, uh, my catchphrase. <laughs> I like it. I'm just Sojiro. Nobody will understand that if they don't know Persona. Yep. Great. <laughs> I guess I was, I voice myself. Uh. Was I dreaming? Even for a dream, that was strange. Sorry to stay, but that was no dream. Hmm? It's coming from the computer speakers. Who are you? Do I would I say it like that? I'm just like, who are you? <laughs> the time to introduce myself has most likely passed, but nonetheless, call me Steel. I'm the one who granted you a stand. There's no need to be afraid. I've been searching for someone like you. A courageous youth who desires a special power. I have given you what you seek. Do you really expect me to believe that? Who are you? You you know you, you know you know you it's not what? English. You know, it's not exactly proper to just barge in and introduce yourself. If you don't believe me, then try and calling out the name of your stand before from before. It will manifest before your very eyes. Fine, fine. Keep on talking, but I'm calling the police! <laughs> I, that does sound like something I would say. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, yeah, just keep on talking. I, I'll call the cops. <laughs> Sounds like something I would say. If somebody broke in my house, I'd be like, yeah, 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 whatever, I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> 
I promise everything will make itself clear if you give it a try. Go on. Also, sometimes the lines will be personalized to the personality type you get. It never really marks what your personality is, it just gives you that description. Come out. Howlin' Wolf! Like I thought. Nothing happened. What are you trying to pull? Ah! Ah! You can see it, I presume. That is your stand. S stand In layman's terms, it's a superpower. The apparition standing in front of you is an extension of your body, so to speak. Generally, each stand has one unique special ability. These abilities can flout the laws of physics and defy the imagination. Your stand will surely become an indispensable ally. But... But why are you doing this? What exactly are you? I'm simply the remnant of a man who was killed by one of these stands. Think of me like you would a pre-recorded message. What do you want with me? I want to change this world's future. As a unit, you and I can do that. No, we must do that. At any and all costs. You, with your newfound stand, must take out a certain person. The insidious vampire Dio. It'll be dangerous. Dio has assassins everywhere. They don't take well to those who defy him. As long as Dio lives, they will continue to hunt you down. Go with caution. Wait, slow down. Are you asking me to risk my life? What makes you think I'm going to let myself get involved in something that dangerous? Haven't you ever heard, with great power comes great responsibility? Don't be bringing Spider-Man on my ass. It is simply a consequence of the thing you yourself wished for. You wished for power, so I granted your wish. However, certain people feel threatened by those own, those whose strength approaches their own. Can't believe this. You're the one who did this to me. You shouldn't, shouldn't, so shouldn't you be putting your line on the life here? I'll say it one more time. You are the one who wished for a stand. And you are the one who called it forth. If you left Dio to his own devices, your friends and family would be at risk. Even if you weren't aware of it, you knew you needed a protector. This is your destiny. I'm just helping you move it along. Now, head to school. Just like you would any other day. I guess the whole idea of saying that I want to protect my friends and family comes from that. So, anyway. Can I not pause the game in any way? There we go. So, from here, you could then save the game. And I look like uh, Josuke. Interesting. Anyway, that was a pretty big prologue, so... We're gonna go ahead and end our uh, video here. So, next time on 7th Stand User, we're gonna go to school, I guess, and learn more about what kind of uh, person Jason is and what kind of Stan Howlin' Wolf is. I don't like that name. Could probably come up with something better. I'll see you guys next time.